Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Morris. Our next witness is uh, uh, Mr. George Rodriguez. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez uh, is president of the San Antonio Tea Party, is a former uh, Reagan administration official who worked at both the Department of uh, Housing and Urban Development and the Department of uh, Justice. Uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you very much. <coughs> is it on? <clears throat> I'm humbled and honored to take, um, to be the first Hispanic to be uh, elected as a Tea Party president in this nation. My testimony is, today is more uh, regarding uh, the personal impact on my family that I have seen regarding illegal immigration and illegal uh, workers in the United States. I was born in Laredo, Texas, a border city where my family resided for over three generations. Illegal labor was a daily problem for my family and other Mexican Americans uh, in those days. Uh, my father, Eduardo Rodriguez, was a printer uh, since the age of nine. He taught himself how to read and write proper English by working at the printing press. During the Depression, my father uh, worked very hard to keep his job and a decent wage that would support his family. The problem not, was not only the economic depression that our country was going through, but was also the competition from illegal Mexican workers who crossed into Laredo, Texas, every day. They would cross in to work during the day and then go back to Nuevo Laredo uh, in the evenings to live. Uh, a good way, a, a low wage in the United States was a great wage in Mexico. The practice of working illegally in the United States and living in Mexico was common and continues to be very common in the border cities. But it was very, very much resented by Mexican Americans. In 1938, my, fa my father began organizing a printer's union not so much to address the issues of labor, uh, of wage and labor conditions, but to develop a clothes shop as, as a way, as an only way, to stop the competition from illegal aliens and the undercutting of wages uh, by uh, Mexican aliens. For example, an illegal wor Mexican worker would work uh, for half the wages a, a Mexican American would, uh, but, but still live well in, in Mexico. Uh, another issue was how easily a Mexican American could be replaced if he complained um, if he complained to his boss while illegal workers were, were plentiful. After nine difficult years, my father was successful in establishing a printer's union which kept illegal aliens from competing for, with Americans, American citizens for jobs. My father passed away in 1988, but he was very happy when he heard of the 1986 Immigration Reform Act that it contained employer sanctions. Unfortunately, those employer sanctions are rarely, are rarely enforced. My father's uh, story is not unique, but rather typical of the experience that most Mexican Americans have had in, in border towns. Even today, Mexican Americans, just not just in border towns, but everywhere, will tell you that they do not want illegal aliens competing for their jobs in any form or fashion. Most Mexican Americans feel that we must do something to stop uh, aliens from entering the country uh, illegally, illegally, uh, and taking jobs from Americans in any form or fashion. Let me relate one more story. Uh, my mother passed away in 1987, and a few days after her death, an acquaintance of the families asked to borrow, actually to purchase, my mother's social security number so she could get somebody to work. Yet another example of how this system continues uh, to, to uh, need some fixing. My testimony today is not only that we have problems in America today, but where Americans are adversely impacted by illegal aliens in competing for jobs. In this time of economic stress, we really, really need to do some more enforcement. One of the things that we see that's very, very important is or that, that sometimes is, is, is not understood, is the disdain that Hispanic Americans have for illegal aliens who are competing for their jobs. Now, Mr. Connors, with all due respect, one thing that you said a few moments ago as far as abhorrence and the competition between people, let me tell you what is really abhorrent, that Hispanic Americans are classified in the same breath with illegal aliens. We are American citizens. We, come, we, have, we are born in this country, and we honor this country. The laws must be obeyed, 
And unfortunately, whenever somebody thinks of illegal aliens, they think of us, which I find patently unfair and discriminatory. Thank you very much.